Still in a great win today. How are the lads feeling after that one? Yeah, the lads are absolutely buzzing. Um, obviously, we've always played against Warrington in the last few years and the sort of a bogey team for us. But to come, especially Warrington away and get a result, it's to win 2-1, it's a, it's a huge result and huge performance. And obviously, results elsewhere has been for us as well. So, nah, the lads are absolutely buzzing. We've got a goal up really early on. You, you scored the goal. There have been a couple of chances before that kid off the line. Were you just waiting for that chance to, to get on the end of that one? Yeah, it's about time. Like you see, it took a while for, um, for me to finally get another goal. But nah, it come just at the right time. See, to help the lads. So no, I wasn't to get that goal. And like you see, we managed to get another one shortly after as well. So nah, brilliant. Had to, had to over the moon with that. Obviously a different sort of style today, a new manager coming in, how important was it to start fast like that? Yeah, we need to, like you say, he said before the, the start, like we need to have a fast start, we need to be positive, we need to be on the front foot. That's exactly what the lad's done. Oh, it was, uh, no, it was exactly what we were sort of talked talk about before the game and we put it into practice on the pitch. You mentioned earlier, Warren, you know what they're all about, they're always going to put us some, under some pressure towards the end then, that's what they did. How important was it to show good character and get through that? Yeah, we knew that was going to come from Warrington. Um, bringing the Amos on, we know Amos over the past year, he's a big, strong lad, but I thought we dealt with it well um, defensively. Like, not just the just the back five, but obviously strikers, midfielders, everyone moved in and done the job and we managed to you know, get a huge result. Obviously, over the years here, you've had a great partnership with the back with John Shaw. You think we're developing another one there with, with Jack Bodenham. How, how sort of impressed are you with him and how excited are you about, about that partnership? Uh, Jack's been fantastic, he has. It's, uh, like you say, it took a, took a little bit for him to settle in, but now he's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, I, love, I love playing with him. We seem to you know, work well as a partnership, so long may that continue. Obviously, it's been a difficult week for the team, losing the manager, Graham Fenton, as well. He's done a lot for you in your career, and I'm sure you'd like to, to wish him well for the future. Yeah, Fence has been absolutely brilliant for me over the last five years. He's helped us a lot. Um, and we're sorry to see him go. Um, we're gutted, but like you say, we just have to wish him all the best and hopefully we'll get to see him back in management soon. Obviously, your new manager in now, there seems to be a, a big buzz around the camp this week as well. A, a new, new voice on the training ground, I guess. How, how impressed have you been with, with Kevin and the way he's settled in? Yeah, since he's came in, he's been absolutely fantastic. Um, like you see, he's come in and sort of... <coughs> Got the lads up because obviously the disappointment with fence, um, loads of positivity, and we're you know, it just feels good. Training's been good, and you know, we took that into the day and managed to pull out a massive result for them. And you mentioned that it felt like a home game today as well, with the amount of fans that came down. Did, did it feel like that for you on the pitch? Yeah, the fans were fantastic, they're always fantastic home and away. Um, but like, especially with the appointment, we might have brought a few extra down, and that's exactly what we needed when we come to places like Warrington. Uh, and that massively helped us get over the line. So thank you very much to the fans that travelled down to support us. So you're in a great place in the league now, second in the tail. How important is it to use this game as a, as a springboard to move on in these next few games? Yeah, massively. We just, like you say, we've got to, we've got to use this result to, you know, a bit of momentum. We've won our last, is it, three games. Mm -hmm. So we've just got to keep that going. Yeah, keep on picking them off game by game and see where we're at at the end of the season. Just for your next up to Whitton Albion, a team towards the bottom end of the table, well, I think we know from experience oh, what a tough test we're going to have on Tuesday. No matter what team we play in this league, um, you sort of don't want to look at league position because any team that turns up home or away, they're always, you're always in a tough game. So we've just got to go in there with that mentality of what we did today and you know, get the three points.